Uh, we are really thrilled to be opening this spectacular new hotel, which could not be positioned at a better time, in a better location, in a better city. There is a, uh, an iconic song about New York City, uh, sung by Frank Sinatra, and uh, the first line is, start spreading the news. And that's what we're doing here today. We are spreading the news about this fantastic new hotel. What I'd like to do is uh, just introduce our panelists. We have uh, at the far left, or your right, Arnie Sorensen, who is the CEO of Marriott International. Uh, next to him, we have Harry Gross. Harry, great to be here in your beautiful hotel here in New York City. Uh, he is the CEO of G Holdings, the uh, owner of this hotel, but also several other iconic properties here in New York City and around the world. And uh, then we also have Fred Dixon, who is the acting CEO of NYC & Company. Of course, that is the uh, institution that puts out the welcome mat in New York City to people of the world. And certainly, the people have been coming. So, uh, Arnie, we'd like to start with you and just why you're so excited about this New York City Courtyard and Residence Inn. Thank you, Kathleen. Good morning, everybody. I wasn't sure whether she was going to sing that break, so I was have all joined in. I think everybody knows it by heart. Well, thank you all for joining us this morning. It is bitterly cold out there, and we appreciate your willingness to brave the weather and come over to see this uh, glorious new two-pack hotel. Uh, this is the tallest dedicated hotel in New York City, in North America, and I think we believe in the Western Hemisphere. Uh, now, there's always some debate about how you count these things, but by that we mean from the ground floor all the way up to floor 68. It's all hotel rooms, and it's all here to welcome people to this place. Uh, it's obviously an iconic building. You'll have a chance to walk around and see what uh, Harry and his team have created here. Uh, but with the art from uh, William DeBills in, and uh, you see uh, here, but you see in many other places uh, in the hotel, uh, it's just an extraordinary building. Uh, Harry, thank you to you, uh, to Ron and Atai, the entire family, for uh, the work that you've done to make this a reality. Uh, it is a uh, special challenge always to build a building of this magnitude, uh, to do it right in the heart of Midtown uh, with great views of Central Park and Times Square and uh, the river is uh, an incredible accomplishment. And if you get a chance, uh, Harry can tell you about it. Uh, the record speed that he's gotten this done at, uh, but it's an extraordinary job. We're just uh, incredibly honored that you will entrust this asset to us and to the Marriott system uh, and look forward to years ahead of a uh, successful hotel venture as well as a very happy hotel venture for that new thousand people every single day. Uh, and as they do it, uh, they will uh, cause people to leave with a great view about New York City. Uh, they will often create memories that those families can cherish and keep for a long time to come. Uh, and as they do it, those 160 associates will be building their careers here with new jobs, with opportunities to grow uh, within our company or within Interstate, who is uh, going to run this hotel for the gross uh, family organization. And we'll see that uh, these are vibrant lives where people take care of each other. And so we thank uh, the uh, entire team here that will run the hotel in the years ahead. We wish them great luck. Uh, and again, we're thrilled to welcome you all here this morning and show you this great gem. So I'm going to turn it over to Fred, who's going to talk a little bit about those incredible numbers that they're seeing here in New York City and why this hotel is currently so well positioned. Fred? Uh, congratulations to Arnie and Harry on this, on this terrific opening today. Um, we're glad to be with you for yet another exciting Marriott opening uh, in New York City. This new dual-branded, double-decker, six-story property marks the first of its kind in our city, as Arnie said. To also have the accolade of being the tallest ground-up hotel in the Western Hemisphere is, is just extraordinary. As a city, we're well on our way to achieving our own goal uh, of tourism here in the city, uh, and that is 55 million annual visitors. Uh, we had set a time frame of 2015 to reach that goal, and I'm happy to share with you that we're going to reach it this year, almost a full year ahead of schedule. So there's probably no more iconic New York City success story than Harry Gross. Uh, from a modest beginning um, uh, 40 years ago in the Garment District, not far from here, uh, he began his uh, New York ascendancy, so it is appropriate that he now is the owner of the tallest hotels in New York City. Um, I'd like to bring Harry up just to talk about why he's so exciting about this particular opening. 
<clears throat> I'm gonna just say a few words on a more personal basis. I'm gonna thank people that you may not know, but it's important uh, to mention uh, them. So first, thank you, Kathleen, and thank you, Arnold. On behalf of myself, my family, I would like to extend a warm welcome to everyone here who indeed braved this uh, Arctic wind and uh, polar vortex <laughs> to make it here this morning. So first, thank you all for coming. I'm indeed humbled and honored by the presence today of many distinguished guests, colleagues, advisors, friends and family. And of course, uh, the many international correspondents who have come here from across the globe to be with us uh, at the opening of what I strongly believe to be a spectacular and unique addition to the Marriott family of hotels. Thank you. I would like uh, to take this opportunity to thank Marriott family and the entire Marriott team for the chance to work with the finest hotel organization in the world. An organization that we have found to be built on tradition of excellence and unceasing pension for innovation. Thank you guys. It is befitting therefore to briefly mention a few individuals uh, at Marriott who have helped us along the way, such as our friends Daryl Nickel, Liam Brown, Dave Grissom, Arnie Sorensen, and ultimately Mr. Bill Marriott. Each and every one of these individuals are not only seasoned hoteliers, but also open-minded entrepreneurs who gave us the opportunity to develop, invent, refine, and innovate, particularly in the area of two brands that interest us most, the Courtyard brand and the Residence Inn brand. Eventually, the opportunity presented itself and we combined these two powerful brands here in the tallest hotel building in New York City and actually, as a matter of fact, the tallest uh, hotel in the Western Hemisphere and uh, again, Liam, where are you Liam? Thank you Liam and thank you Dave and thank you Arnie and thank you Mr. Marriott. Thanks all. It would, I would be remiss not to mention interstate hotels and resorts, the management company that has contributed so much to our success with their exceptional operational skills at all our New York City hotels, including this one. Thanks to our friend and chairman Tom Hewitt, many thanks to CEO Jim Abramson, Chief Investment Officer Leslie Ng, and our go-to guy at Interstate, Tom Bartnett. Many thanks, guys. There are a few more individuals that deserve recognition and thanks. Kudos, first and foremost, to our architects, Nobi Ashihara and Naoki Fukui. My thanks to my son, Ron Gross, who oversaw the construction of this magnificent building and got us here today ahead of schedule. I would also like to mention our in-house architect, Bill Walter, whose experience and dedication has made an invaluable contribution to the completion of this project. Special thanks to Bill the Bilzer. Bill, the artisan in residence, whose work you can see here, as well as you can see in the lobby, in the elevators, on the third and fourth floor, uh, and um, I think, Bill, that you have given this hotel a very special character that many, many uh, guests will enjoy for years to come. Thank you very much. <laughs> PR guru from Rubenstein Associates keeps reminding me, and he says, it's not enough to say thank you to the whole world, but you have to try to sell the hotel and you have to stay on message. <laughs> well, the message is quite simple. We are very fortunate to live and work in New York City. We are very fortunate that the city of New York has embraced us and given us the opportunity to succeed and thrive in this city by building the most exciting hotel 
than anyone could have envisioned. Overlooking on one side Times Square, on the other side Times uh, Central Park. So the mes message is very, very simply. Come stay with us. That's the message, all right? We welcome you. Where else in the world can someone who arrived to this country with the proverbial two suitcases achieve this? Only in New York, only in America. God bless America. On behalf of the uh, city, I'm pleased to uh, bring Kyle Kimball up to the uh, microphone. Uh, hi, my name is Kyle Kimball. I'm the president of the New York City Economic Development Corporation, and I'm thank you all for having me today uh, on this on this cold day. And I'm here really on behalf of Deputy Mayor, Deputy Mayor for Economic Development, Alicia Glenn, uh, as well as Mayor Bill De Blasio. And really uh, love doing these type of events where we get to uh, sort of look, look at what we're doing. And I think the role of government in many ways is sometimes to curate uh, and to create, uh, such in the way that the NYC and Co. has curated and stimulated the tourism economy around the city and tremendously successfully over the past few years and will continue to do so. Uh, but also it's sometimes our role to celebrate uh, when we have openings like this. Um, that really represents something in terms of innovation, uh, in terms of a brand or a part of town or a, a, a economic development in the many forms that it comes in. Um, this beautiful hotel will bolster our, our status as a magnet for tourism and really ensure that the city continues to have the capacity um, in terms of welcoming record numbers to the city. Uh, of course, promoting tourism and hospitality is really a critical piece of our economic development strategy and our mandate to strengthen the city's overall economy. You know, as Fred mentioned with you with the numbers, uh, tourism is a major component and a growing economic engine for us, uh, with tourism having a tremendous economic impact of you know, nearly $60 billion a year, uh, employing nearly 400,000 New Yorkers. So for these reasons, we are committed to supporting our sister agency, NYC & Co., uh, as well as thinking about how the Economic Development Corporation and the Economic Development Vertical within the de Blasio administration uh, can continue to help this sector grow and innovate. Like everything else is just by chance. I um, visited uh, my um, sister-in-law in Florida and Delray Beach and walked, saw this uh, gallery with these uh, iconic uh, figures with long legs. <laughs> so I walked in and uh, spoke with the sales lady there and I said, I'm opening this hotel and I would love to buy all of the, all of the art that's here in the, uh, in the thing, I buy it all. <laughs> well, I had it at 50% of cost. <laughs> But uh, there were no takers, so I went home. And then uh, later on, I still, that idea uh, was with me, so I called Bill and uh, tell him, Bill, come down to New York, I want to talk with you about this hotel that we are building. And um, that's how I met Bill. Bill, stand up so that everybody can see you. Can we have a round of applause for Bill? Now there is a YouTube uh, like 10 minute video that everyone can uh, look up on the Bill the Billson's name and uh, it just uh, shows the art in here, it speaks for itself and I think the hotel, the idea of um, bringing to the courtyard, through the residence in, they're not necessarily uh, famous for the art in these hotels, but they are famous for many, many other things that uh, we uh, think are the most uh, beneficial for us as owners. Um, we thought to try to bring in some humanity and warmth into these hotels and to maybe spearhead a, a trend that uh, could catch on. I believe that uh, mixing art with where you work and where you live is um, it's a good idea. So we are trying it out and let's see if it catches on. Thank you.
Great, so we invite you, as I said earlier, to, and then I'd like to invite um, uh, some of the others, including Jim Abramson, who's the CEO of Interstate, uh, to join us at the podium here for our traditional ribbon cutting of this brand new hotel. One, cut it. take over for you. Oh, we know <laughs> because I would that. never break that. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's my bottom lip quiver. I know. <laughs> but in any event, uh, just a couple of things. Uh, you know, knowing Bill since I was 14 and having, uh, there's been a number of key um, things that have occurred, uh, obviously. And one would be, if we were 14 years ago, Bill wouldn't have on, yeah, wouldn't he? <laughs> and a big old hat. Aww. Because he's definitely a cowboy. To imagine, how many? 50? No, four, uh, yeah. 43 years later that we, we would be standing here in this magnificent property, having participated today in a news conference that was beyond anything you could ever imagine. Here's my buddy, right, whom. There were uh, 50 to 70 press from around the world, ABC, A AP, CNN, the largest paper in China, the largest paper in England, wow. right? And, uh, you know, sharing the stage with Arnie Source and, and Harry Gross and, uh, you know, the liaison to the mayor's office, right? Not that that's, that's really nothing. But, um, <laughs> yeah, right. You know, really, it is. Um, but, you know, not only that, but Bill invited me to take this little journey with him. Uh, it was probably four or five months ago. Uh, he said, Dwayne, come on up. And I live in Bucks County and uh, happened to be looking for a job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hitchhiked here. Um, no. But um, anyhow, he invited me in, and I walked in here the first time, and there were, was maybe a wall done. And you know, of course, there's uh, you know the construction workers. We had to wear hard hard hats, the whole thing. And to then today see it cul culminate in this magnificent work, of which I know some of you haven't seen it all. Bill is going to take you for a personal tour at exactly. 8 o'clock, okay? Uh, which is special in itself. Not often do you have the opportunity to uh, have that happen. And uh, uh, in addition, what I'd like to say is, uh, you know, I know, and this is hard to say, but I know that Bill um, loves his family more than, than you can have enough. You're gonna bring that. Yeah. 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 What he does, I know, is he appreciates the yeah. unyielding yeah. love and support yeah. of his yeah. sister Deborah, who is just yeah. one of the most phenomenal women on the planet Earth. His mother, yeah. Fran. Thank you. Wherever you are. She's crying in the corner. She 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 mothered yeah. me. Yeah. Listen, I was a wayward uh, child, to say the yes. least. I was on my own at 16. Okay. So Fran definitely, um, you know, lent a child a hand, if you will, and I love you. Uh, to all of his relatives that came from all over, Jim and the crew, I know if he could say what that means to him. I broke down last night trying. Um, I'm trying to cover all the bases. Um, in the end, <laughs> I'm sorry. His sister Diane. You've got a sister. His sister Diane. Wherever you want. She's getting a knife right now to slash it through. There's so many people. First of all, know one thing: if you're in the room, uh, you're very special to 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 Bill. And um, you know, I know that if he could say it, he would tell you each and every one of you. Thank you very much. How very much. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you.
Um, I'm not, I'm not going to go much longer. I did want to say that um, there are finger foods over here, and there is a men's room, believe it or not, through that door, and there are three women's rooms. For those that have. But anyhow, for me, Bill, I thank you very much for allowing me to be a part of for a moment, and I wish you much continued success. Amen. Thank you, uh, thank you all very much uh, for coming. Uh, I, I know most of you in here tonight. Uh, I don't know all of it. Uh, uh, we've got some, some friends and some uh, people that Dwayne has brought in and, and other friends. PJ's brought some friends here. I know a lot of you, but thank you so much for coming out. And I'm going to cry. We love you. Nah. <laughs> we love you. We love you. We love you. Yep. Incredible. It's incredible. Awesome. You did an awesome job. The work is beautiful. Yeah. 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 And, um, you know, to be on a stage like this in New York City is much beyond what I ever dreamed and hoped for. And uh, thank you all for being here. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm often asked, uh, how, you know, what inspired you, what did, and I always have been a very intuitive type of painter. I don't think about what I'm going to do. I just go start doing it, and as, as I... It just kind of all develops. I don't, I don't pre-draw it. I don't do anything. I don't really have any uh, preconceived ideas, except if they're commissioned. This one he kind of had. He just said again, once again, he said we just wanted it kind of black and white. So incorporated. Actually, in the blue room is you around the corner with the first Skyline series that I did, and people kind of responded well to that. So I thought, well, let's just do that and continue that here. So now it's. Now it's official series. Will is uh, one of our first purchases. Over there. First, there's not a mural. Yeah, first, 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 very the first. New York skyline. So, and he has a wonderful place here in New York City, a skyline place. So, uh, anyway, if you have any questions or anything, this is uh, the the fifth uh, floor. The as you as you notice on the uh, entrance of the, of the hotel, there's the sculptures. The on the second floor was the floor that I was talking about that. Uh, possibly doing an ongoing uh, you know art scene here in New York City and uh, you know the potential of that is uh, to really, I think do some some really incredible things here in New York so uh, once again thank you guys for coming out and, uh, and, and sharing this, this time I appreciate it